Welcome. I hope you're having a great day. This is Jennifer McGuire. Today I'm going to show you another way to make gift card holder cards. So these are cards that incorporate gift cards, perfect for the holiday season. These actually have little flaps that you lift on the front of the card and you'll see the gift card in contained inside. This is a fun and unique way to present a gift card. I really think this is one of my favorite ways to do so. Very easy to do and you can use a lot of different stamps with it. The products I'm using today are from Pretty Pink Posh, one of my favorite companies that I'm seeing grow so much. I just really like these stamps. So the first set is Christmas Friends. There are some adorable children on it, some beautiful sentiments, and some cute things that you can put in their hands, such as wreaths and cups of coffee. Now the second set that I'm going to be using is Winter Wonderland. Some adorable little images on here also, fantastic sentiments. I think you'll be seeing a lot of people use these. I'm also using this set of dies from Pretty Pink Posh, and what they do is they cut flaps and create the little score lines, so you can have fun little flaps on the front of a card. These are two smaller ones that you can have like lift up to have little images inside, but I'm going to be using these two bigger ones to create gift card pockets. Now you could use them for many other things, but I thought this would be a fun way to put them to use. Now I'm going ahead and stamping the images that I showed you with Hero Arts Black Dye Ink and I'm using Bristol Smooth cardstock. This is one of my new favorite cardstocks to use when I'm using markers and I want to blend them. Not for Copics, but for other things. I found that this cardstock just really is forgiving and helps me color better. I'm not great at coloring, so this is uh, really helpful to have a good smooth paper. I decided that I wanted to use my Tombow markers today. These are great basic markers with a brush tip and a fine tip, and I find myself reaching for these a lot. Now you can use these on this Bristol paper, and you can actually blend colors together with them if you wanted to. So you can see how I'm kind of blending a dark pink with a light pink. You can really do a lot with these, and you can see that you don't really get lines on this paper with these markers. Well today I'm actually going to do some blending and kind of get a watercolor look by using these Tombow markers with a Spectrum Noir clear shimmer pen. So what I'm going to do here is put down a couple colors. I'm doing like a bright pink and kind of a dark uh, peachish color or a reddish orange. Putting a little bit of that color down and then I'm coming in with that Spectrum Noir clear shimmer pen and blending that together. It almost gives you like a watercolor look so you could use just a water brush with very little water. You don't want to use a lot of water here. Or you could use like a Dove blender pen. But by using this shimmer marker, I actually end up with a nice shimmer to the finishing finished coloring also. So I'm blending the markers with it and I'm getting nice shimmer. Again, you could use a water brush, but you don't want to use a lot of water on this paper since it's not a watercolor paper. But you can see here how I am able to blend colors out. So here I have a mint marker, and then I just kind of scribbled it down onto my paper, and I'm picking up the color with my tip. You can even do that with this paper and these pens and the Spectrum Noir Shimmer Pen. If you have the Zig Wink of Stella Shimmer Pen, you could use that also. Now you could try this with any other basic markers you have. These won't work with Copics, but you could do like your Zig Clean Color, color Real Brush Pens or your Distress Markers if you wanted to. I just really wanted bright, vibrant colors, and I have a lot of fun with these markers. I found they last for a long time also, and they're not very expensive. Okay, so you can see I'm just kind of adding some color here and there, and I'm not blending it perfectly because I kind of want a watercolor look, but I wanted it to be vibrant. But look how easy it is to blend that black out into a dark gray. These, these colors just move great on this paper with this shimmer pen. Now this was actually the first time I've used this combination of paper and markers. And you can see I'm kind of experimenting. There are many ways you can blend these colors or lighten them up. But one thing you want to be sure of is that if you switch from one area of your image to another, you want to scribble the tip of your Spectrum Noir Shimmer Pen off onto some scrap paper so you don't transfer the color. If you don't do that, you might end up taking like the black from her shoes up to her hat. You just want to be careful with that. Also, you want to make sure an area is dry before you color to an area next to it, or it might bleed if you have a lot of that shimmer pen down. You could also heat set it in between each color. So you can see it's easy to blend different colors to create her hair here. Nothing fancy, and I did the same coloring with all of the other images also. 
After I was done with all the coloring, I used the coordinating dies to cut each of the images out. Once I had them all cut out, it's time to go ahead and create the little slot for our card, for the gift card to slide into. You can see I used two different dies, so I'm going to start with the card on the left first. So I have a piece of white cardstock cut to four by five and a quarter, and I'm using my T-roller to create a straight line, just holding it there, while I bring this rounded die. So this cuts the top and the sides, but it only scores along the bottom. So it's kind of like a peekaboo flap, but we're going to tuck a gift card into it. I'm using the T-roller to make sure that I get it straight, and I'm placing the die towards the top center of this piece of white cardstock. Going to go ahead and run it through my die cut machine. Very easy to do, and you can see that it cuts the flap and also creates the score line for the little flap. So you can see underneath the flap here, I actually have some solid cardstock that I did some stamping. I just wanted to kind of fill that area towards the bottom because we're going to tuck our gift card behind that. So I'm stamping some of the snowflakes from these stamp sets with Hero Art's Soft Pool Ink. I put these uh, stamped images all close together on an acrylic block, and now I'm just stamping them repeatedly to cover the entire background. Now I've cut a super thin strip of black cardstock, and I'm adhering that along the top edge just for a nice finished look. I decided to use the sentiment that says Season's Greetings. This is from one of the stamp sets I showed you earlier. I stamped that with black VersaFine ink so that I could add some clear embossing powder and heat set that just to give it a nice raised look. You could use some glitter clear embossing powder here and give it some shine if you wanted to. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces stamped and it's just time to assemble. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this stamped background right up against that flap. So right up against the score line, just make sure that your flap can still open very freely. And then we're gonna flip it over and cut off anything that's hanging off the edge. Now it's time to glue our little images to the front. Now I'm putting some adhesive on the flap so that I can glue the little girl onto it. You wanna make sure that you don't glue your flap close so the adhesive is only on the flap so that you can still lift it with no problem. I then glued the little bird so it looks like it's kinda of sitting on top of the flap. I also wanted to add a little bit of interest to that white background, so I took two little dot images from a Pretty Pink Posh stamp set, and I'm just stamping them repeatedly in the background to kind of look like snow falling. Again, I'm using that soft pool shadow ink from Hero Arts. I'll also add some sequins to this later in the video. And now it's time for the fun part, and that is creating the pocket for the gift card. So I have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch white note card ready to go. And I also have an Erin Condren gift card here. You'll notice there's a piece of tape on the back. That's to block the code so nobody uses it from the video. I'll take that tape off before I send this card out. So you don't need that tape there. Now we need to create kind of walls to hold our gift card in place. And this is on the back of that stamped flat piece that we've created. So I have some foam craft tape here. You could use craft foam if you wanted to or any kind of raised kind of adhesive. And I put two strips down the side and one along the bottom where I want the gift card to stop. So we wanna be able to open up the flap and see a little bit of that gift card. So we need to make sure that we have a, a stopping point at the bottom. I also cut my, my tape to be narrow so I could put two strips along the side so that it doesn't shake back and forth too much in the card. You want a little bit of room next to the gift card, but not too much. So there you can see I've kind of created a house for our gift card to sit. So now I can remove the release paper and stick this to the front of the card. And when I lift up the flap, I have the perfect little spot for our gift card to sit. Now, if you don't have this flap die, you could instead just cut the three sides and do the scoring on the bottom edge yourself. So now we've finished the pocket on the first card. Let's go ahead and do the pocket on the next card. This uses one of the other dies from Pretty Pink Posh. So I have this die here. The flaps go out to the side instead of down. And I'm just kind of positioning it on my white cardstock where I want it to cut. So I have a gift card here just to kind of help me figure out where I want it to be. So now I'm going to run this through my die cut machine, and this will create two little flaps. Now after you run it through, there's actually a little connector piece in case you don't want the flaps to open easily. I use my craft knife to just cut that little connector piece from the cardstock, and there we have two little flaps that open up nicely. You could do all kinds of things inside of here, have little images, whatever you want. I just thought the gift cards would be fun. 
I went ahead and added a few images onto the flaps. Just make sure you, that you don't glue the flaps closed with when you put these little images on. You wanna make sure that they stay on the flaps or off the flaps so that the flaps will open up nicely. Okay, so now that I've done that, it's time to add a sentiment. In the stamp set, there is a large sentiment that says warm holiday wishes. I decided I just wanted warm wishes, which is very small, and I went ahead and cut my stamp up. Yes, you can do that. It won't harm your stamp as long as you cut between the words, and you can always use them at how they were originally tended by just putting them together on the acrylic block. So here I'm first stamping wishes with black ink, and then I'll stamp warm right above it. It's just another way to get more out of your stamps. Now the next parts of this card are very similar to the first one. I stamped some snowflakes repeatedly on some blue cardstock here. This is Simon Says Stamp Audrey Blue ink that I'm using. And I'm gluing it right below where those flaps open up. Make sure that you do it below the flaps so that the flaps will open up nicely. I also stamped tiny little dots on the white part by our little friends on the top of the card, just as I did before. Now it's time to create the walls for a gift card pocket. So I'm holding our little gift card in the center exactly where I want it to be. And I'm putting the tape right up against the edges and all around it so that there's a nice place for it to sit. It moves freely in there, but not too much so that when the person opens up the card, they see the top of the gift card nicely. So I'm removing the release paper, adding it to a note card, and there we have the perfect little pocket for a gift card for this one. I thought a Starbucks gift card would be perfect with the little coffee cup in his hand. To finish off both of the cards, I added some of the shimmer pen to the black strip so it had some shine. And I also used dots of my Ranger Multimedium in the matte finish to add some of the pretty pink posh winter sequins. So I'm using some of the clear ones here that are kind of iridescent, just to add a little bling to the background. I find that the best adhesive to use is the Ranger Multi Matte Medium because it's super strong. Just be sure that none of this hinders opening that little flap for the gift card on either of your cards. So here in the light, you can see the shine and then the shimmer from the coloring that we did earlier. Now remember, you could create these flaps yourself with a craft knife and, an, and a straight edge, but these dies sure make it handy for creating some fun gift card pockets. You could also use the flaps for any other surprises inside of your card. So thank you for joining me today. All the supplies I used are linked in my YouTube description below. Also, you can go to my blog where I have much more information, including a fun blog hop featuring these new Pretty Pink Posh products. In the middle are two other videos that show other cards that hold gift cards. So if you wanted some more ideas, be sure to check those out. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you'll come back soon and have a wonderful night.